On the last Saturday of April each year, the community of Camborne in Cornwall celebrate their industrial heritage with a special day of street festivities dedicated to Richard Trevithick, pioneer of the use of high-pressure steam and father of the locomotive. The celebrations during Trevithick Day 2001 were extra special because they marked the 200th anniversary of Trevithick's invention of the Camborne Road Carriage which many observers acknowledge was the first automobile. The night before Trevithick Day, steam engines from far and wide gather at South Crofty Mine so that they will be ready for an early morning start. Richard Trevithick was born just down the road from the mine and both he and his father worked there. As the steam engines make their way into Camborne, where all the main streets are closed to normal traffic for the day, the street stalls attract morning visitors looking for bargains. Ten for a pound, all I need is an odd number. The steam engines line up in the streets to be admired, and the crowds are entertained by the sounds of the steam organs, still playing their tunes in a traditional way. The specially built Trevithick replica engine is displayed in the center of the town. The first main event is the Bal Maidens and Miners Dance. Bal is the old Cornish word for mine. Children from local schools, dressed in the costumes once worn by mine workers, dance through the streets to Trevithick's tune, played by Camborne Town Band. The dancers are accompanied by miniature steam engines.
Meanwhile, in the town square, the swelling crowds are entertained by Caledonian pipes and drums and the ever-popular Holman Climax Choir. Entertainment is an important part of Druidic Day, and in fact, there is something around every corner clowns, buskers, and musicians. Something to suit just about every taste and age group. <laughs> Trevithic Day is a real family event.
parents dig deep into their pockets as their children enjoy the fairground rides. A short shower does not dampen the spirit of the crowd or the people taking part. The sun comes out again just in time for the steam engines to muster for the afternoon dance. The dancers, wearing Cornish colours of yellow and black, are led by a huge steam engine and Camborne Town Band. They are followed by other steam engines as they make their way through the vast crowds lining the main street. In every church hall, something is going on. Teas are served, visitors can look at the flower festival, while others choose to look at exhibitions of steam engines. Is that the same? That's the same, isn't it? Everywhere you look in Camborne Town Centre, there are people enjoying themselves.
grand finale of the day is the first ever performance of a specially commissioned piece of music by Gough Richards, titled Mythic Trevithic, performed by brass bands outside the parish church. It is quite a sight to behold. The music truly captures the feel of the day's celebrations. Next day, the crowds are gathering in the morning sunshine once again to watch the special commemorative reenactment of Trevithick's Road Run going up Camberon Hill by the Trevithick replica and a host of other vehicles of all sizes and descriptions. Yeah. 
Sadly, Richard Trevithick never received the acclaim or financial reward that was his due during his lifetime. But the way that the community of Camborne now pull out all the stops to celebrate his achievements more than make up for that. Thank you.